we've gathered 15 insane real-life scenarios showing how Tesla Autopilot reacts in extreme situations and crashes. Let's go! Austin had lent his Model 3 to his friend Missy, who was driving it on the highway in Columbia, South Carolina. Traffic suddenly came to a complete stop, and Autopilot immediately activated the automatic emergency braking and sounded the forward collision warning. Up ahead, cars were swerving all over the road trying to stop in time. The driver of a Jeep even headed out into a field in order to avoid an accident. Unfortunately, a driver behind Missy wasn't paying attention and evidently didn't have any forward collision avoidance system. They rear-ended the pickup truck directly behind her at full speed. We searched news and public records for information about the accident, but nothing was reported, which hopefully means nobody was seriously injured. Tristan was driving his Model 3 in Waynesville, Ohio. He was stopped at a red light when the driver of a red Chevy sedan waited to apply the brakes until he was only about 15 feet away from crashing into Tristan at 50 miles per hour. The Tesla's emergency lane assistance system activated and kept him in his lane. Without that, he would have crossed into the oncoming lane and risked getting hit head on. As Tristan rolled toward the center line, we can see that Autopilot engaged and steered the Tesla to the right. Tristan's hands weren't even on the wheel after the impact. Tristan sustained a minor concussion, but the driver of the Chevy fared worse and was taken away in an ambulance. Thankfully, he did survive the crash. The police report indicated that the other driver had been distracted by his cell phone. The damage to the Chevy was extensive, but the damage to the Tesla initially appeared to be only cosmetic. In the end, the repair bill came to 16,000 US dollars. The Chevy driver's insurance provider is picking up the bill, and Tristan has been told that the repairs will take around four months to complete since the body shop is so backed up. Josh was driving his Model 3 with Autopilot engaged in Arvin, California, when the driver of a BMW suddenly changed his mind about taking an exit when he noticed traffic was stopped on the exit ramp. The BMW driver lunged back onto the highway by driving over the median and crossing several solid lines. Unfortunately, they merged back onto the highway exactly where Josh was driving his Tesla. Autopilot reacted by sounding an alert and braking. Josh made an evasive maneuver by darting over into the left lane. Josh is confident that Autopilot saved both him and the other driver from getting into an accident that night. Stephen and his family were driving their Model Y over the hills of West Virginia toward Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Autopilot was engaged and following traffic at 70 miles per hour in the left lane. Just as they were about to pass a semi-truck, the driver started to drift into the left lane. The truck barely missed the car in front of Stephen before slamming into the concrete barrier. Autopilot safely stopped behind the semi-truck before pulling around the trailer. Stephen stopped and talked with the driver, who was fine. He also contacted the company who owned the truck based on the driver's information and told them he had video footage of the accident. They never replied to him, but Stephen heard later from the police that the truck driver was ticketed for driving too fast. Tim is participating in Tesla's full self-driving beta program. As he was driving in downtown Albuquerque, New Mexico, his Model 3 stopped at a stop sign just in time to capture a person riding on a bicycle seated backwards. Tim thinks the FSD system was just as bewildered as he was at the site. He said they had a good laugh and continued on their way. I'm not sure if this means Tim had a passenger in the car, or maybe he meant that he laughed along with his Tesla. I gotta say, the FSD beta sure seems wild. Jonathan was driving down US Route 101 on his way home from work when the driver of a gray Honda cut him off. He switched over to the middle lane since his exit was about to come up. Behind him in the distance, he noticed a gray Dodge Journey cut off a semi and start to catch up to him. At the same time, traffic was backing up so Jonathan started to slow down. All of a sudden, traffic came to a complete stop and Autopilot detected that Jonathan wasn't going to stop in time. Autopilot applied the automatic emergency brakes and the Tesla came to a complete stop. The Dodge didn't even bother slowing down and rear-ended Jonathan, causing him to hit the Lexus in front of him twice. Jonathan suffered a concussion from this accident, but at least he was able to walk away from it. 
Jonathan called 911 immediately, and when first responders arrived, a police report was made and his car was towed away to a body shop. The California Highway Patrol officer who took the report tried to blame the accident on Jonathan, saying that he'd merged between them in stop-and-go traffic. But his Tesla cam footage proved that this wasn't the case. The repairs to Jonathan's Tesla ended up costing $18,000 US dollars due to significant damage to the frame. Chu was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Taiwan. Just as he passed a truck hauling portable toilets, the truck's front left tire blew out and it entered Chu's lane. Chu told us that, if we look closely, we can see the Tesla swerve twice. The first time, autopilot automatically swerved to the left. The second time is when Chu took control and swerved again before speeding away. DV Dude was heading south on I-95 in Daytona Beach, Florida. He admits he was going 90 miles per hour with autopilot engaged, which is the maximum speed setting for autopilot on freeways, when a semi-truck drifted into his lane. Autopilot applied the brakes and swerved onto the shoulder to avoid the truck. Unfortunately, lane departure avoidance was also active and set to assist. Lane departure avoidance will either warn you or assist with corrective steering when your vehicle starts to drift out of the lane without a turn signal. As the Tesla drifted over the yellow line, lane departure avoidance applied corrective steering back toward the truck, but DV Dude intervened and prevented an accident. He described it as a butt-clenching moment. Luckily, the only damage sustained was to his nerves, so he made an unscheduled supercharger stop to take a breather. Hijo was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Germany. The driver of an Audi that had been stuck behind another car in the right lane suddenly changed lanes without using a turn signal. Autopilot sounded a collision warning and engaged automatic emergency braking. Hijo managed to avoid a wreck by moving to the opposite side of the road, nearly hitting another car that was already there. In this next clip, George was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Fort Pierce, Florida. Let's watch it in multicam. As soon as George merged onto the highway, an ambulance turned on its lights and stopped right in the middle of the road. George had no idea what was going on, and autopilot reacted before he did. When he tried to slam on the brakes, the pedal was already all the way to the floor, and the car was steering itself onto the right shoulder. George says if autopilot hadn't reacted before he had, he's sure he would have crashed. Everything had happened so fast that he had to watch the Tesla cam footage just to figure out what had happened. The ambulance had stopped because it had passed the accident it was headed to. On the right, we can see a police car with its lights on and a van in the grass. The ambulance turned its lights on and stopped while everyone else on the road was moving at highway speeds, which was extremely dangerous. Nick was headed out for a night of bowling and made a right turn before engaging autopilot. He was approaching an intersection and had a green light. The vehicle coming the opposite way made their left turn with plenty of space. But as he got closer to the intersection, another oncoming vehicle started to turn as well with a lot less room. Nick reached for the steering wheel, afraid that autopilot wouldn't react quickly enough. But right before he got his hands on the wheel, autopilot swerved to the right while slowing the Tesla down. Once Autopilot realized the car was stopping, the car accelerated and got out of the intersection. Nick says it was definitely an oh shoot moment, but that he's thankful his Tesla reacted as quickly as he did. Patrick was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Denmark. Two highways were merging together and Patrick stayed in his lane as he continued straight ahead. A semi-truck on his left started to merge into his lane, but Patrick had a student driver in front of him, so he couldn't speed past the truck, nor did he have time to slow down. The Tesla sounded a warning, and even though Autopilot wasn't engaged, Patrick says he isn't really sure if he actually performed this evasive maneuver. All he knows for sure is that an accident was avoided. Kevin was driving his Model 3 home with Autopilot engaged in Los Angeles, California, when traffic slowly came to a stop. Autopilot slowed down and the BMW behind him appeared to also slow down in time, but then it rear-ended him twice. Kevin says he could see she'd been using her phone just prior to hitting him. They pulled over at the next exit to exchange contact information. It took around three months for Kevin's Tesla to get fixed. He didn't file a police report since he had video footage of the accident. The other party's insurance provider accepted full responsibility.
Thomas was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Germany. It was a stormy night, and after a five-hour drive, there were suddenly trees on the highway. Autopilot didn't react, so Thomas had to swerve manually. He thought that was odd and sent along a reminder to always be alert even when using autopilot. David was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged on I-5 in Tacoma, Washington. There was heavy traffic, and when the lane on his left got backed up, the driver of a Prius made an evasive maneuver into David's lane to avoid rear-ending the SUV in front of it. All David remembers was hearing his Tesla's alert sound and seeing blue. He grabbed the wheel and pulled to the right, and he could feel autopilot turning the wheel as well. He had to pull on the wheel pretty hard to fully avoid the accident, so he considered it a team effort. He's thankful that autopilot was there for him when he needed it most. David also thanked us for the show, and he said that when he meets people and they see he has a Tesla, they sometimes ask him about Wham Bam Tesla Cam and if he's ever been Honda bumped. He politely replies, thankfully, not yet. Just you wait, David. Speaking of waiting, it's time to announce the winner of our last joke competition. Why this guy was attacking cars with a lawnmower on the highway. And the winner is Quentin with the joke, person with the lawnmower took cutting across traffic to the next level. Congrats on the new hoodie, man. Maybe we're bad at promoting this hoodie because we sell almost none of them, but they're epic and they open a lot of doors. Imagine pulling into a Tesla service center with one of these bad boys on. They ask you, are you Wham Bam Tesla Cam? And you reply, maybe, maybe not. Then they arrest you for illegally using the Tesla trademark and you get taken to Tesla headquarters where Elon takes you into an interrogation room and asks you questions like, how much is the hoodie? And you say, 35 US dollars. Then he asks, how long does delivery take? And you say, two weeks. Then he asks, why doesn't it say Tesla Cam on the hoodie? And you answer, so you won't sue me. Well, with that picture painted, live a little and go order your own hoodie. We hope you're satisfied.